Hi guys. It is the day before Labor Day and uh, me and Keith have been, oh, I got fur on my shirt. Me and Keith have been um, doing all kinds of crap around the house. We've pretty much been laying low um, the whole holiday weekend. Um, I've been doing lots of videos and lots of new fun things. Um, so I'm going to do a soup. You know the drill, it's gonna be uploaded on souped up Saturdays. So I talked about my mom in the past, about some of her amazing recipes like the barbecued hamburgers. Um, this is one that she was really, really um, famous for. I mean, not YouTube famous like me, but you know, in the family circle, famous. Um, I never ate it, I never tasted it, that I can recall. But um, it was Manhattan clam chowder, and me as a girl, a young girl, I'm like, oh, I'm not eating clams. No, I love them steamed. I love raw oysters. I love all kinds of stuff. But as a little girl, I ain't eating it. My husband loved it. Bonnie's clam chowder on Labor Day weekend. She made it every Labor Day weekend for everybody. A ginormous pot. I swear to God, I don't have a recipe. But I'm going to try to make one, and then we're going to have Keith taste it, and we'll see how close I come. So I'm going to bendy bendy, so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And, um, okay. So I have my soup pot here. Okay. I, oh, here's some butter wrapper because I got butter in here. I, um, I'm not making a lot, guys, because I don't know if I'll like it. So, you know, how much... I could freeze it. How much could Keith eat, you know? Alrighty. So we got some onions, obviously. Some green bell pepper. Okay. We have to sweat these off as usual, you know. Um, some celery. And I cut up the leaves, too. You know, I like that. I think it gives a lot of flavor and a lot of color in your soups. Okay. We have to let these sweat down for a little bit. Um... You know, not till they get completely translucent. I got some garlic. You know me, I'm a cheater. And I got this, the minced garlic already. I ain't got time to be mincing garlic cloves, even though I know it only takes a second. Pushy push. And then you got your garlic, right? This is just as good. Um, so I have the celery, the onion, the bell, the green bell pepper, and garlic. Okay. We're sweating them down. We're sweating to the oldies. Not really. I'm going to put my pants. It's not really that becoming of me. Um, here's what I'm sipping on. A little pomegranate truly. My little metallic looking paper straw. Mmm. Delish, right? Okay. Ooh, this smells good already because, you know, it's that garlic. Don't have your heat too hot. You don't want to burn your garlic or your veggies as a matter of fact, okay? So guys, um, the recipe, I mean, like I said, you know me, I pull little bits and pieces from different recipes and try to create them and make them my own. I pull the parts that I like and I ditch the parts that I don't. So this recipe called for two cups of water, okay? And some fresh potatoes, and then you're going to cook those potatoes in that water, um, you know, and you obviously that water was going to be the uh, some of the base of your soup. Well, I didn't like that at all, and um, so I'm using vegetable broth instead and water. I think it'll give it more flavor. There, you need two cups. There is a little more than two cups left in this carton. I'm just going to dump it all in. Okay, yummy yum. I think it'll just give it way more flavor. And because I am not going to be cooking my potatoes in the broth, guys, I used canned potatoes. Yeah, you know, it's a cheat, but in soups, they're nice and firm. You know what I mean? They're great. They don't get mushy. Um, so I, I really, really, really like to use canned potatoes in soups. Okay? So, and I'm not going to lie, I cheat. So you don't have to throw those potatoes in just yet because I'm going to show you another cheat that I'm going to use. First of all, here comes the clammy clam clam part. You need, it called for two cans of chopped clams in their juice. Don't ditch it. 
So I'm pouring them in. But guess what? I am not going to use... You want to get them all out of there? So look, watch. Just scoop the can, the juice around. Look at that. You got them all out. Okay? So instead of two cans of the two small cans of the chopped clams, look what I'm gonna do. I thought I looked on the on the on the ingredient wrapper. This is a Tuscan red clam sauce. It's made with fresh clams. The ingredients are just some spices, tomatoes, chopped clams. I'm gonna put this right in here. I think the flavor that it's going to give it is going to be amazing. Again, look at this. There you go. Can clean. Okay. I really thought that would be a good idea, you know? We'll see what Keith says, all right? Then it calls for a can of diced tomatoes. Okay, got that in there. So, oh, guys, look at the color. It's looking like good clam chowder, I think. Here's my taters. They're going in. Okay. There it is. Okay. Now, calls for some seasonings, bunch of parsley, you can use fresh, um, you know me, I don't have any fresh because that would just be ridiculous. Some cayenne pepper, some thyme, um, some salt, called for some black pepper, so of course I'm going to use my beautiful pepper grinder that Lucky Grandma gave me. I love it, I love it a lot, it's gorgeous. This is a Dree Rummond, you know. What is her show called? Tree of the Frontier Lady or whatever? Or something like that. It's from her line. I just love it. My God, guys, this looks good. And you know what I'm going to add that it did not call for? But I figured, why not? It's my recipe. I'm going to put a little Old Bay seasoning in. You know, everything seafood gets Old Bay. Now, Old Bay is very salty. It's almost like a seasoned salt. It's got a lot of, I mean, all you taste is the ocean when you use Old Bay. I love it. So I put a little in. Oh, it smells good. All right, I'm gonna bendy bendy so you guys can see it. Okay, look, guys, look at that. Doesn't that look good? That looks like a really good Manhattan clam chowder, don't you think? Okay, so, how easy was that, right? How easy? I mean, Manhattan clam chowder. Um. Now, I, I know for a fact, my mother used clam juice. I remember the big can. She would buy the big cans of it because she would make this ginormous, um, and then she would buy the big cans of chopped clams. So I know that I know that's what she did. So I'm in the right direction with the chopped clams. Um, I thought that that, you know, the, the clam sauce was a good touch because it's got the tomatoes in it and everything. So I'm going to let this simmer for quite a while, um, probably like a half hour. I'll bring it to a boil and then I'll turn it down and let it simmer. Then we're going to come back. I'll throw Keith on. He won't want to, but I'll make them and I'll have them taste for us. Okay. Well, I'll taste it too. Cause you know what? I'm a big girl now with uh, big girl tastes. So I might like it. All right. Don't go away. Okay. The time is here. So smells very good. Um, I taste it a little with the spoon. I think the broth is amazing. Um, I'm going to give Keith a big bowl. The only thing he had, he had breakfast. And I videotaped a chicken wing dip, so I gave him a little. Other than that, he didn't eat anything today, so I'm going to give him a big bowl. Hopefully he likes it. But I'm going to call him in here. Super hot. He's going to be like, what the hell? Um, you need oyster crackers. And of course, you know, I don't have any freaking oyster crackers. Um, but I'm going to let you look to see what this soup looks like, okay? So, look at this. Look. Okay? Look at this, guys. I mean, really? Looks freaking amazing. Look at all those clams, the potatoes, the veggies. The color of the soup looks fabulous, okay? All right. So let me put this down. So I'll call Keith in. Keith, your soup's ready. Let's hope he likes it. Okay. So of course, I'm giving him to him. Here he is. Come here. Hi, hey, buddy. Um, he's got his bill shit on on a Sunday, even though the bills aren't playing yet. So he's gonna have to take a taste. I know it's hot, but he likes hot stuff. 
So, and he'll have to be honest with me, and I'll give him some regular saltine crackers he can take in the living room, or the parlor, or whatever the hell you call it. Um, but, it's hot, but he'll be honest with me. He'll be like, it's not your mother's, but it's delicious, or it tastes like Bonnie's, or I'm nervous. It's very good. Is it good? Very good. I don't know it's quite your mother's, but... No, I know. I, 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 I don't need very to be able good. to reproduce it. got a good spice to it. Does it? Yeah. A lot of good, good flavor? Yep. Very All right. good. You heard it from the man. The, the Manhattan clam chowder expert right here. That's it. Very There's good. Your crackers, all right? Thanks. Here, I'll give you a napkin. There you go. Thank you. Thanks, sweetie. Okay, guys. We did it. You know, I'm going to try it. I'll do it right now and try a little. I like potatoes. Oh, all right. So, of course, I got it in a glass, like I always do, right? But I'm going to try it for you. Oh, I even got a clam. A little clam right there. Little clammy clam. It's hot. We got a blowy blow. Guys, it's got amazing flavor. I can taste that old bay. I think that can of, you know, um, the clam sauce, like, push the shit over to the edge. I mean, it's delicious. Mmm. Broth is so good. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, if you like a clam chowder, a Manhattan clam chowder, give this recipe a try. You won't be disappointed. When the video's over, I'm sure Keith will give me an earful. Well, he always says the truth. So I really hope as he keeps eating it, it's like, oh my God, it's so good. Oh my God, it's so good. You got, you, I love that feeling. So I hope you like the soup recipe. More to come all winter long. So like, share, subscribe, and peace.